ماشي ده Okay, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Uh, good evening, students. Uh, good evening, which is about the play that I asked you to do. Did you all read the play that I gave you? Yes. yes. Oh my god, uh, it's a... Uh, I'm so sorry. I got it. Uh, you are sorry. I'm sorry, teacher. Okay, I'm reading it right now. Hey, no, no, it's okay. We already learned last week, but maybe you can recap in a bit later. Teacher, teach you will teach, eh? Okay. Uh, now I'll display a passage on the screen. And then um, I want all of you to read it aloud together. Can you do that for me? Okay, okay teacher. Okay, wait, huh? Wait, wait. Okay, um, next slide. Okay. Okay, uh, so this is the synopsis of the uh, play that I asked you to read last week. So can you read it aloud again? Together. Uh, okay, so what? Uh, uh, one, two, three. 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 A man okay. is lying, lying on a street. the when the the woman away walks away the Michael, Michael Scott. Scott. The three of them. 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 As for the woman who knew the tree of the tree of the tree of the tree Okay, very good students. Uh, okay, so now, um, based on the synopsis that we have read earlier, what can you actually infer from the text that we have just read? What do you think that the entire story is about? <laughs> about saving Michael mm -hmm. Scott. Saving the TV chef. Okay. Uh, Maybe it's about humanity. Okay. Yes. It's about saving someone's life. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay. So now, um, <clears throat> very good students. So now today we will look in depth of the place of, you know, um, literature element. Which will be the themes, uh, the settings, the point of view, moral value, and uh, yeah, it's basically about the play. Uh, so now I'll project the lesson objective. Yes, my Yes, ready. Hey, we are lesson objective, right? Ah, uh, yeah, it's the first like. Hmm. Sorry, yeah. Lesson objective. Sorry, technical difficulty. It's okay, Please teacher. Forgive me, students. Kill. House Bahamas. House Bahamas. Kill. Okay, students. Okay, so, so this is the lesson objective. First, we will do an activity about uh the themes of the uh play. Where we will do a fill in the blanks uh, activity. Then we will try to determine the point of view 
and then uh, moving on, we'll do another activity whereby we, we have to explain the settings and finally you have to list down the model values that you have actually got to know from the play itself. So now um, let's start with the first um, slide first. So, uh, actually, this is the reading note um, for that we are going to okay. use for this uh, class. So, uh, next slide. Okay, so uh, we will start off with themes. So, uh, basically, what is theme in literature? Theme is defined as a main idea or an underlying meaning of a literary work, which may be directly or indirectly stated. Um, so, um, like you see, theme can be something like, uh, like someone take humanity. So, it can be a theme of this play itself. Okay, uh, next slide. So, uh, these are the examples of themes that are available in this play. So, uh, can I have volunteers to actually read uh, each one of the examples? Uh, we'll start off with uh, Imran. Oh, Imran. Okay. Good teacher. Uh, the first one, oh, I need to read all of it. Ah, uh, yeah, you just read the first uh, example. The sentence yeah, the first example. Alright. First example. When the astronaut landed on the moon, they felt only in us. Thinking there was no one else, though the view of the Earth was stunning beautiful. The theme is theme of lonesomeness. Okay, thank you, Ivan. Very good. So, uh, next, uh, moving on with this one. Um, can you hear me, teacher? Uh, yeah, I can hear you. Uh, the Amelie ceremony was taking place in a grand hotel. All the people of the city were invited. The reason that the celebration was excellent. Theme of happiness. Okay, thank you, Iswan. Um, next, moving on to Isa. Okay, the, the example. The teacher gives everyone the same amount of souvenirs when she came back from traveling. So the thing is, it's the theme of equality. Okay, thank you, Isa. Uh, Aishwarya, can you help me with the fourth uh, example? Yes, yeah, sure, teacher. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. 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 The fourth one, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Ahmad decided to donate his savings to help the fresh victims to have friends currently in Tranganu. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Aishwarya. Can you move on? Okay, you're, okay, you're muted. Sorry. You're muted. Sorry. Um, at the end of the day, he managed to rescue the injured woman when everyone else was just standing around her with the mobile phones appointed her. Team of him. Yes, very good. Now, uh, finally, Azrael, can you help me read the last sentence? <coughs> okay, can you hear me, teacher? Yes. yes. A woman in her middle age always insists on being the center of attention, resulting everyone to think she is having too high an opinion of oneself. Theme of Wayne Glorious. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for helping me read. So, um, based on the examples that your friend has read, and also my explanation to you actually relate and understand what is theme actually about. Yes, Okay, thank you. Uh, now, uh, moving on. So, uh, based on the notes and the discussion that we have had earlier, we are going to do our first activity of the day, um, which is the fill in the blanks activity. So, now, can you see the slides? There are four um, questions. Okay, so uh, based on the first note that I actually gave you that I asked you to read aloud, you have to answer four questions by matching them with the correct uh, team. Okay, so I will give you five minutes to actually answer this activity, first activity. Uh, if you do have any questions, please ask me. Okay, so, so okay. Five minutes, 
Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Wait, uh, yes, teacher. Um, this one. Uh, I will post. Uh, I mean, uh, Miss Marisa will post a link. A link. So you have to go to the link and then you have to write down your answers there. Okay. okay. Uh, Can everyone access uh, the link? Uh, yes. Everyone got in the link? Yes. Okay. So no, not yet. Uh, I is in chat box. I put in the chat box. Oh, oh I see, I see. Okay. Okay, I see. Alright. Uh, teacher, only write down the answers, huh? Yeah, one, two, okay, three, just four. Answer. Okay, thank you, teacher. Uh, don't forget to write on your names, okay? Okay, teacher. Uh, Alright. Oh, wow. Uh, oh. oh, so many people. Yeah. Is it like this teacher? Yes. Okay. You know, teacher, so hard. <laughs> ah, so hard. Oh. The moment in English is. The moment in English is. Who is MK Azrai? <laughs> Sorry, teacher. You want me to change? Yes, please put your full name. Eh, not full name. Your your yeah, full name. Full name. Okay, teacher. All right. Thank you. Oh, teacher, I have a question. Okay. Yes. 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 What is the meaning of when glorious? When glorious. Oh, what is yeah. Okay, can you see the slide? Um wait, uh. Okay, can you see the slide? Uh, teacher Tashi will explain again what is being glorious. Okay. Hey, teacher. The slide gone. Loading. Okay, okay wait, uh. it's loading. Wait, wait. We can see the slide at the padlet too, is one. No, this one is a different one. Wait, uh. Oh, oh, I mean the exercise. Okay, uh, can you all see the slides now? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, so uh, let's yes, try the first. So a woman in her middle age always insists on being the center of the attention, helping everyone to think that she is having too high an opinion of oneself. Okay. So when we look at this example, it means uh, when glorious is something where you think really high of yourself. It's something similar to boasting actually. Or being proud of yourself. Oh. Um, okay, thank you, teacher. Oh, Understood, right. teacher. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Teacher, teacher. Teacher? Yes? M may I go to the toilet just for five minutes? Oh, ah, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> five minutes. Oh, I'll be back in five minutes. Where are you going? It's okay. He has done the 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 task. Yeah, you have done the task. I, I just completed the task. It's very hard, teacher. Sorry. This is a good starter. Uh, <laughs> Aishwarya, Izwan, Amar, Imran, they have done their work. Yes. Okay. Mine going just now. I don't know why. Thank you, teacher. Teacher, can you see mine? Ah, uh, uh, what? What is this? My father's name is Chiga. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, Azrai. Yes. Mama Azrai Chiga, is that you? Yeah, Mama Azrai is Chiga. Such a beautiful name. Thank you, teacher. Yeah. Okay, now I think everyone is done. So let's wait for our friend, our... Uh, me. Friend, me. Me. <laughs> me. 
So let's move for your friend, okay? Okay, teacher. Wait, teacher. Wait, I'm a very slow learner. Okay, it's okay. Teacher, okay. Imran, don't come back yet. Huh? Imran, phone thing, teacher. Teacher, okay. kejap ya, I go drink water. Kejap. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, done. Okay, everyone is done. So, uh, uh, Miss Marisa, do you want to wait for the rest of the students to come back? Oh, it's okay. We can just discuss. Okay, okay. Okay. So, we will just discuss. Your friends will join us later. So, uh, okay. as I can say, most of you got the answers right. Like all of you actually. So uh, now let's discuss this uh, activity. Uh, so I want four volunteers to read one se each sentence uh, for me with the correct answer. So uh, we will start with Amar. Hi teacher, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, for the first one. The woman in blue is a beneficent person as she decided to help the laying man who was laying down by the street. Yes, that's correct. Thank you. So, uh, now, uh, is one? Can you move from the second uh, question? Um, helping yeah. Michael Scott shows that Allah, uh, helping Michael Scott shows that equality is important to sustain a good nation and citizen regardless of any place, time, and position. Okay, correct. So now, um, uh, Isa, can you give me the third question? The drama of the right thing to do portrays the woman in blue as the heroism since she was able to save the sick man lives in a dash. Okay, that's correct. And finally, we'll have Azra. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. Yeah, to can, can you read for me the last question? It was the right thing to do. Well done to all of us, said Patrick to Rebecca and David, which illustrate them as with glorious people throughout the journey. Okay, very good. So now let's uh, let me recap. Okay, uh, so the first question, the answer is beneficial. And then the second one is equality. Third one is heroism. And the final one is made glorious. How many of you got right for this? Now let's actually move on to the next activity. So uh, for the next part of our lesson, we will be uh, learning about point of view. Okay. So what is point of view actually? Point of view or POV is what the character or narrator telling the story. Uh, in. So uh, it's like how to say uh let's say i'm telling a story that means i'm the narrator so the point of view will come from my part okay do you understand it yes teacher. Yeah. 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 if let's say i am telling about a person uh, a character so that is also a kind of point of view so you look into the examples of point of view and the types of point of view uh next slide so uh, we actually have uh, four different types of point of view. So uh, can I have like volunteers to read out what is the first, uh, the first person point of view and the second person point of view? Um, can I have Kirtana? Uh, first person point of view. Uh, first person is when I am telling the story. The character is in the story relating his or her experiences directly. Uh, the second one also? Oh, yeah, the second one also. The second person point of view, the story is told to you. This point of view is not common in fiction, but it's still good to know. It is common in non-fiction. Okay, uh, next slide. Uh, so uh, we have third person point of view. 
third person omniscient and also third person limited. So uh, this one I'll explain myself. Okay, so uh, basically third person point of view is when uh, the person who actually wrote the story explains everything based on his perspective. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. So a third person omniscient is about um, whereby you can assume that the narrator who's telling the story knows every single detail that has happened in the play. So uh, for example, um, I am telling the story about how I fell down. So I'm the narrator here and I know whatever every single detail that has happened. So I'm telling you from my perspective where I know everything. So it will fall under the third person omniscient uh, point of view. Everyone clear? Yes, yes teacher. And third person limited is when uh, you introduce characters, but uh, they are represented very limited in the entire situation or story. Okay? Understood, teacher. Okay, so now let's uh, move on to the activity. So uh, the activity is that uh, can you see the, the can you note? Is it too small? No, teacher. It's a bit teacher. Yeah. Okay. 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 There, there are eight uh, different types of uh, uh, let's say lines from the play, uh, and I want all of you to read it carefully, and then after determine what is the point of view in that each of the example. So, and then uh, I'll give you time to do this uh, activity. And once you are done, we will discuss the answer. I'll call each person individually to give me an answer and justify why do you think so. Okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. So uh, you can start answering in your Padlet itself again. Okay, okay teacher. If you have any questions, do ask. Shopee. <laughs> Whose Shopee is that? Mine. Mm. Okay. Is there anyone have raining area at your house? No. Yeah, it was raining heavily, but it now was... it's fine. I think it's, it's kind of raining. raining right here. Do you guys like rain? No. Yes. Oh, why yes. no? Why yes? Because it no. makes me sleepy. Sorry. Yeah. Wow, so fun. What is that? <laughs> I, I left to sleep during the rain. Okay. 
you can see the activity you can click on the picture on the palette okay if you want to determine it yes teacher. okay What? what what happened Everything like one to eight. Ah uh, yes, yes. On your padlet, but then when oh. you ask, I'll call you randomly. Okay. Okay. I thought just one. Sorry, I got. I'm done. It's okay. Okay. Uh, so far, I think Anna is done. Aishwarya is almost done. Ara Azra is also done. I'm on my way, teacher. Just wait for me. Okay, yeah. teacher. Teacher, I can use short form, right? Or do yeah, you want me to respond? I can use short form, it's no problem. What is that? <laughs> that's, I think that's Isa. Yeah. Isa. Yeah. Let me know. Isa, are you drinking water? What? Are you drinking what? <laughs> I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. It sounds weird, bro. Not me. Ah, that. Thank you. Thank you. Don't argue. Azra, stop bullying. Uh, okay, sorry, teacher. Then. Is also yes, teacher. Hi, Kali. So good. Who's underwater? Yeah, who's underwater? Hey. Teacher Marisa, are you underwater? Well, technically, yes, but no. <laughs> okay. Okay, everyone is almost done. Isa and Izon is racing. I support Izon. Come on, Izon, yes. Almost. Yes, come on, Izon, you can do it. Yeah, Izon, we did. <laughs> So I think almost everyone is sorted. Everyone already answered. So uh, without further ado, let's just start uh, discussing. So um, I will give you an example how you should answer. So I'll take the first uh, um, <clears throat> sentence and I'll explain to you. Okay. So uh, when you look at the first sentence, the person was walking down the street. A well-dressed man was lying on the ground. Patrick walked by and asked her. No, said Rebecca. Well, are you going to help him? You were here first, said Patrick. So uh, for the first example, the, the point of view was third point, third person point of view because um, the narrator actually tells, uh, explains and, uh, you know, kind of illustrates about the character, what they were doing in the story, okay? So it's a third person point of view. So uh, for the second example, can I have Izuan? To answer, 
David Walker. So, uh, third person om omniscient. Okay. Why is it third person omniscient? Because uh, it was narrated by someone and it seems like that someone know everything. Okay, because, uh, very good. Uh, so, for the third one, uh, Kirtana, can you answer the third question? Uh, okay. Uh, can I read? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. A woman in blue suddenly rushed into the scene. She kneeled down beside the man on the street. What are you doing? Rebecca asked. I'm helping this man, she said. But you don't know him, so it's not your problem, said Rebecca. Oh, be quiet, the woman in blue retorted. Okay. So the answer for number three is the person from Okay, why is the person? Um, it's because someone is telling the story. Okay, yes, correct. So uh, for the fourth one, can I have Aishwarya? Sure, teacher. Let me read this first. You, the woman in the woman who said to David, call an ambulance. You, she pointed to Rebecca, get me a glass of water, go. And you, she said lastly to Patrick, feel his pulse. And I think the answer is third person point of view. The story is being told by the what so noisy. It's okay, it's okay. Okay, I. What are you doing, Ezra? Not me. Focus, yeah. I think the story is being told from another person's point of view, not the narrator's point of view. So I think the answer is that person's point of view. Okay, Am I correct? Yes, the answer is correct. Thank you. So for the fifth one, can I have Pizza? Um, okay, the fifth one. Patrick said the man wanted some pills. He checked his pocket. There were some pills for the heart. Rebecca came back with the water. Slowly, they gave the man some pills with the water. The man felt a little better. So here, I think the answer is third person on the team. Uh, because uh, there, there is for this sentence there is no dialogue, uh, so it indicates that the narrator has all knowledge about the situation. Okay, very good, very good, Isa, you're right. So, uh, for this uh, sentence, can I have Ahmad? Yes, teacher. So, <clears throat> the woman in blue went away. Nobody noticed. The ambulance came shortly. A doctor and a nurse attended to the man. What is your name? The nurse asked the man. Michael Scott, the man said. Michael Scott, the famous TV chef, asked the doctor. That's right, said Mr. Scott. So I think for this one, uh, it's the third person POV because the author is narrating the story and uh, he mentioned uh, the names, okay, the characters. Very good, uh, I like the way you so, uh, oh, uh, can I have a uh, high time to answer the challenge one, seven sentence? Hello, can you, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hello. All right. Okay, uh, number seven, right, teacher? Ah, uh, yes, number seven. Right. Mr. Scott, thank everyone who helped him before. They took him away in the ambulance. Wow, a famous TV chef. It's alive because of us. <laughs> the state says, "Where's the woman in the blue? She didn't have hers." He added. So, based on the statement given, my answer would be that person limited. Okay. Because. So why is it that person limited? Because. The narrator uh, give the give perspective of the character. Okay, okay, very good. Am I, uh, am I correct? Final one time. Yes. Yes. 
Okay, for the final sentence, I have applied to answer. Yes, teacher. Um, David, David said that's right. She walked away. We did everything. We helped someone famous. Rebecca said, because of us, he did die. Well done, everybody. Patrick quit. It was the right thing to do. Well done to all of us. My answer okay. is the first the point of view. Okay, very good, Alfrai, very good. So, uh, why do you think it's a uh, third person point of view? Because I think when you are writing in the third person point of view, the story is about other people, not yourself or the reader. Okay, okay. So, uh, uh, I think all of you got the answer right for each question, uh, but I will uh, recap again the answers. So for the first sentence, the answer is third person point of view. Uh, for the second sentence, third person omniscient. Uh, and the third sentence would be third person point of view again. Oh, I love connection. Oh, she lost connection. Now. Sorry. Wait, now let's wait for a little bit. If she's not coming back, I will tell you the answers. Okay? Okay. So, you guys can uh, take, take two minutes. Can I take one? Okay, okay. Teacher's back. Don't Five take two minutes. minutes. Sorry. Hello? Yeah. Can hear you. Uh, okay, so he was leaving there and I got cut off for a okay. bit. So, uh, so that's about it. I think all of you got uh, correct for the uh, all the questions. So uh, let's move on to the next activity. So I'll pass on to Miss Marisa to continue. All right. Okay. So I'll be teaching the next um, lesson for today. So we shall start with settings. Okay. Okay, okay. Yes. okay, so settings. Uh, I believe everyone have heard the word settings before, but this one is a little bit different because it's settings in literature. Okay, so I'll be reading the definition of settings. The setting of a piece of literature is the time and place in which the story takes place. The definition of setting can also include social status, weather, historical period, and details about immediate surroundings. Setting can be real or fictional, or a combination of both real and fictional elements. Uh, so in essential, settings is about the immediate surrounding, okay? So if you can see from the slide, um, I highlighted the word the time and place. Okay, for example, do, do you have any idea like what is time and place? Can anyone help me? Does someone want to try what is time? Can you give an example of time? Morning, uh, teacher. Ah, morning. Day, okay, day, very good. Um, morning, the day. Now. Uh, now will be present. Uh, that's very good. Okay, Kir. Anyone else? Day time. Daytime, yes, very good. It's on daytime. So these are example of time. Okay, and for place, uh, I will give example. Okay, like, you see my background? Yeah. A yes. one, yes. Right? yeah. So my place will be underwater as for like SpongeBob point. Okay. So like for Isa, she's in uh in the clouds. So that is her place. Alright. And then um is one is Somewhere around the bombing area, I believe. Is that correct? Mm. A very cool one. So that is also called place. Like Kirtana, she's probably in Bahamas because it's a beach background. Azrai could be somewhere in a fictional world. world. Ah, it's in a fictional it's world. Happy. Sorry? Okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> ah. So again, so settings can also be in fictional or combination of both real and fictional elements. For example, uh, have you watched the uh, uh, let's say Avengers? Anyone watch the Avengers one? Yeah. Yes. Ah. Yes. So in the Avengers one, so you can see the settings. It is happening in the in life time. Okay, so it is real but also is fiction. 
so there can be a combination of that for the settings okay so do you yeah. understand what is setting so far yeah yes, yes teacher. okay very good so here's an example of setting okay um can i have isa can you read the society example for setting please so the example uh, of society is modern and anachronistic yes very good thank you isa okay so society we can have modern uh, modern is how the way we are living right now and then anachronistic is the opposite of modern so this is more likely around the old Classic. era so then you can use anachronistic but if it's uh anachronistic is also similar to the old present so you can also use the old present instead of anachronistic okay Okay, teacher. Okay, and then we have time. Does anyone want to read the example for time? Me. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you. Read the example for time. Um, dusk, dawn, for noon, day, and night. Very good. Okay, thank you. Does anyone know um what is dusk, dawn, for noon? Have you heard before? Yes. Dusk is usually when you pray the subuh yeah. prayer. So if you pray oh. the subuh prayer is at the dusk hour. Okay, the sunrise is has is not happening yet. Okay, as for dawn, it's usually when the sunset is going down. Yes. So maghrib going down. time. Yeah, maghrib time. Alright, get correct, Kitana. Thank you. So, Fonun is um like in Azrai's background picture. So you can see the 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 sun, the sunrise. So it's called like a Fonun around there. There's like the sunlight is already appear up. So day and night is the basic one lah, the one that we always experience in every day. And then the next setting is place. So place is basically the same. Uh, it's like where are you belong right now. It could be office, school, park, or street. Okay? So, okay, I'm going to give you an example in the chat box. Uh, in my, okay, I give example for society, time, and place. Okay? So, I am living in the modern society due to online teaching. So, I usually teach during the day in my office. Okay, can you see in the chat box the example that I'm giving? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ah. Okay. I am living. Hmm. Ari, is one. <laughs> I am living in the modern society due to online teaching. I usually teach during the day in my office. Okay, very good. So this is the example of how you are going to create a setting. Okay. Do you understand so far? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Oh. So now we're going to go to the next activity. Be sure to understand, okay? Because the next activity is quite challenging for you. But I love challenging. Okay, okay so based on the slide, you can see, uh, it says, based on the reading note, identify and write down the settings, which are the society, the time, and place in about 100 words. Okay? Yes. Uh, wish, uh, not wish. Okay, so again, uh, you can go to your Padlet and you can see the settings right there. So this is an individual work. Uh, I'll give you about roughly 10 minutes for you to write down um, the settings, okay? Alright. Alright, I will be with you. If you have any I'll questions, try my best, teacher. Alright. Yeah, That's the teacher. spirit, yes. Yes. I don't understand based on which reading note. Oh, which reading note? The one this one, ah, uh, Vera. Reading note from
this one is the uh, same so, that we use so we have to choose oh. one and then write the setting and yeah so based on this note you can write um the the type of the society one the time and the place okay oh. hmm. so you have to create our own sentences or just just take the our uh, own sentences <laughs> so i will uh, yeah uh. Yeah. Does anyone have any question? No. I have a no question. You don't, have to be, you don't have to be exact hundred words. You know, in about just hundred words. Okay. Okay, teacher. Teacher, I have a question. Mm hmm. Do we have to read the whole thing and then from that you you collect all the settings and you create a new a new text? Uh, so you just read the reading note. So for example, we can say like the so it's happening in the morning time. So you can say based on the drama, the right thing to do, the time is during the morning time or the morning day. Uh, and then you proceed to the place. Uh, you can say also you have to read based on the reading note. Uh, to know where is the place and the society. Okay. Thank you. Uh, teacher, it should yes. be present tense or past tense. Present tense, past tense, uh, both are accepted, but I rather, uh, I prefer um present tense. Okay, thank you, teacher. All right. Uh, teacher, how long? Ah, uh? I sorry, I forgot. How long? Hundred, uh? hundred words. In about hundred words. How many minutes? Like how long is the time? But you can do. You can try your best. Um, you know, if you cannot make it to hundred words, it is okay. As long uh, I mean, as you, like, as, I got... long, as long as you know the settings. Uh, uh, I mean, like, yeah, do you give like ten minutes or fifteen oh, huh, minutes? ten minutes like that. Ah, uh, okay. I just the teacher. Teacher. Huh. Uh, is is down the street a setting of place? Yes, yes. yes. Uh, okay. Wait. Everyone is doing great. I'm reading the answer so far. Teacher, yeah. Do I do I write the time setting or the setting of time? The set the setting or of time. Time. Yeah, setting of time. Setting of time. Teacher, we have a uh, place, time, and, and society. Society, okay. So basically, society can be changeable. Okay, it depends on the story itself. Sometimes you do have to read a couple times of the text or the literature in order for you to identify the settings. So, yeah. Sometimes it can be difficult. Sometimes it cannot. Sometimes the settings is not directly. Uh, so, if you would like to find the settings, you have to read more than one time to ensure the settings okay okay
Well, Isa is almost completed. Is it too difficult to identify the settings? No, it's uh, it's difficult to create sentences. Yes. Okay, yeah. I understand. Sometimes I ask for you to execute the the words. You have the ideas, right? But sometimes hard yes. for you to write. So you can do a lot of writing practices. Okay. So easy okay. for you to write down the answers. Okay, teacher. Is that what is uh, the sound from you? I swear, I swear, I saw your mics moving while the sound. I don't know, bro. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, bro. My ears hurt. Sorry. Kiza is finished. Very good. I'm reading the answers. Now we'll discuss the answers, huh? doing great so far everything's i'm checking the answers i'll discuss in a bit okay e Teacher, yes. I think I'm done because I don't know what else to write. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. If you cannot make it to hundred words, it's Same. completely fine. I just Same. want you to be able to know the settings first. Okay, so if you can identify the settings, uh, that is good. Okay, you can improve your writing skills as we are learning in writing. Okay. But okay, in this literature okay. one, I just wanted to know if you know the settings of the drama itself. Okay, is everyone okay. done? All right. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Almost, teacher. Almost, almost. almost. Okay, I'll be waiting for a few more people. Okay, I know that Isa is done. Izuan is done. I know Kitana is done. Um, Ama is almost there. Uh, so goes to Imra and Ashwarya. Almost there. Done. 
Then, mic drop. Give it a. I would like to. I would like to applause to everyone, or uh, to each of you, because the the grammar and the sentence structure that everyone is using is correct for the present tense. So well done Thank for you. that. Thank you. Uh, very good. It's teacher. very pleasing to read the answers. So I really love that one. Done, okay. teacher. All right. As anyone's done. Imran, are you done? Almost there. Yeah. Almost there. Almost there. Okay. On a chat. Ashwarya. Ashwarya is almost done also. So as we're waiting for our friends to complete the settings. So Izuan, can you tell me the current settings that you are having right now? The what? The current setting. settings, yeah. But time can, setting. Hmm, the time and place. Uh, if you have a society also, you can try. So the, uh, the society is a uh, model society. Mm -hmm. Since considering that uh, the one of the character uh, to the other to call an ambulance which mm -hmm. is the depiction of an, and then the time is probably it didn't mention in there but probably during daytime because there are people around when they see that happen because mm -hmm. in that night time probably there wouldn't be anyone so and the place setting is uh, on a street Very because good. it mentioned because it mentioned times. in the drama Okay, does anyone uh, agree with Izuan's settings? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. yes, okay. Okay, now I want to discuss the answers. Okay, um, Iza, yes. can, you sh can you read your answers to the class? Yes. So based on the drama, the right thing to do, there are three settings that have been shown, which are the society, time, and place. In the drama, the society had portrayed a modern type of society. This has been proven by most of the characters' behavior, who are care oh, sorry from that uh, care to only minding their own business and unwilling to help others who are in need and needed mm -hmm. and Next, the setting of time that the drama has taken place is in the morning. It is true uh, that there are many people walking around in the sick man, which indicates a daylight type mm -hmm. of setting. So, last but not least, the setting of place in the drama is in the street, as Michael Scott had laid down due to his heart illness. Mm -hmm. Other characters are also seen to be walking along the street while staring at the light man curiously. All right, very, very good. Thank you, Isa. Okay, so based on the story itself, yes, I have read all of your answers. So all the answers are correct. So most of you uh, answered the setting has to be in the modern society. Am I right? Because you said that there are cars and ambulance. There are also the, the thinking of the people. And then for the time, yes, it is in the morning. Or you can also use the term daylight. Okay. And for the place, there's only one scene, which is where? Street. Yes. On the street. On the street. That's correct. Okay. So. On the street, teacher. On the street. Yeah. Okay. So. On the street. Okay. Very good. So I think we are done with this activity. Now we'll go to the last activity very quick. Okay. Okay. Wait. I'll show you the moral values. Have you heard the moral values before? Yes. Yes. yes of course you already have formed yes. you have heard the moral yeah. values but i will i will be continuing um to just refresh a few as moral values okay all right okay. Bear with me. okay so moral values moral values are the worthy principles that one follows to distinguish the right from the wrong these virtues are considered worthy in building up the character of an individual Moral value refers to the good virtues. So basically, moral values are the good um, 
virtues that you want to apply or implement in yourself. This will actually help a good citizen and you have to share these good virtues for making a better world. Okay, so moral values is you take the good for you to implement. Okay. okay. Alright, so for example, here I have leadership, volunteerism, honesty, civic mindedness and courage. So for leadership, it means someone that takes off control or in charge when doing an activity. Okay, so that is considered as the leadership. And for volunteerism is what is uh, is when someone offer themselves to do without any um, repay. Okay, so like if I ask you, can anyone volunteer to answer this question? So for example, um, Isa said, I can, teacher. So that is called volunteer. It comes from the word volunteer, okay? But it's called volunteerism. As for honesty, I believe everyone knows what is honesty. Honesty yeah. is the best policy, okay? And then for honesty civic... not lying. Sorry? Honesty not lying. Yes, honesty is not lying. Very good, Isan, yes. Um, and then we go to civic mindedness. Have you heard the civic mindedness word before? Civic, yes. Mindedness, no. Okay, <laughs> civic, yes. Mindedness, no. Okay, so civic is uh, when you have the good attitude of the civic. Lah. So civic or mindedness, but it comes from the brain, from the mind. So the civic combo with the mind. So civic mindedness, for example, you are not littering. Uh, around your house, around the shopping mall, around the school. So if you don't litter, it means civic mindedness. So civic mindedness comes in many uh, other actions as well. Can you give an example, yes, Kitana? Can you guys can you guys give an example of civic mindedness? Is it like uh? Is it like oh nothing? No. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, I forgot. Uh, Organization. How Imran? Is it same with uh, the meaning with uh, civilization? Yeah, so, a civilization. Uh, almost that's it. No, actually, civilization is um, civilized. Uh, see, if if it comes from the civilized, it is correct. You have to be civilized. But civilization is more likely to be like in a group of civilized people. But it it uh, is correct for the term civilized. Okay. 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 And the is it, is huh. it same? Is it same like race, rational? Rational. Um, it is kind of similar. Rational is more likely for you to think straight. So civic mindedness is also thinking straight, but in an ethic way. You have an ethic. Ah, uh, sometimes people do have rational, tapi eh, sorry, but they don't have ethic. Ah, uh, so the difference is between the ethicness. Uh, okay. okay. All right. So the last one is courage. Courage is the uh, is the same as brave. All right. So you you basically know what is moral values. So they are basically yeah. the good virtues that you want to apply to yourself and to other people. Okay. Do you have yeah. any other moral values that you know? Responsibility. Okay. Very good. Responsibility. What else? Proactive. Proactive, very okay, very good, Imre. Proactive. Being patient. Sorry. What is that? Huh? Um, patience. Patience. What? I'm very patient with Azra right now. Full. What is birth tolerance in English? Birth tolerance, we would say tolerable. Tolerable. Ah, yes, tolerable. very good. Azra. Tolerable. tolerable. Negotiable. Negoti. Ah, negotiable. Ah. Ah, uh, what else? What else? Uh, so do not be. Kasih sayang. What? Kasih sayang. Kasih sayang is love. Love. Ah, uh, okay. So you can use those terms for moral values, okay? And you can find moral values. Most uh, of the literature reading, you will find at least one moral values, okay? So you understand so far with moral values, right? 
Yes. Okay, so we go to the next activity. The last activity. Okay, based on the drama, the writing to do, list down the moral values and explain. Okay, again, I would like you to refer to the reading note that I have shared and just list down four moral values and explain why do you think that is the moral values that you can find in the story. Okay, would you like to work in group or individual for this one? Individual. Individual. Alrighty, everyone so so like uh, responsive. Okay. Everyone so black guy. I want to work group. You want to work? Yeah, it's okay. Next it's time we can work in group. Actually, Azra is very eager to have friends to help him, but it's okay. Next time we can try in groups. Okay. Yeah. So I'll wait. I'll wait in the moral values. Oh, we can start now? Yes, yes. <laughs> Sorry. Azra is not focusing. Azra is sleeping, teacher. Can I have in points? Sorry, teacher. Yes, I'm yes, sorry, you can, Iza. This is in points, okay? You just write okay, the moral values and explain why. So, as you guys are doing the moral values, I would like to tell what are other moral values that we should have, especially during the pandemic. Okay? So, during the pandemic, I believe everyone should be caring for each other. So, caring is another word for moral values. You have to wear your mask, you have to take care of your this social distancing yes. and then um, you cannot be selfish okay do not be okay. selfish uh, and then we also so during the pandemic what are the moral values mm. uh, understand each other understanding each other very good Kita. understanding each other in what terms Kita now? Um, you have to understand that um, another person will get the disease if you go out. Mm, very good. Oh, don't be selfish. Ah, don't be selfish. Okay. Because the... Selfless. Ah, is that right? Selfless. Ah, don't be... Yeah, don't be uh, selfless. Okay. Do not think about yourself. Okay. There are other people, other people that are people. surviving in this world. Yeah. And then, um, try to stay at huh? I have a question. Mm. Uh, should we uh, write the explanation under the... Yes, yes. Just write uh, oh. a simple explanation. Why okay. do you think the moral values... Okay. You choose that moral values, huh? Mm. Okay. Very good. I really love the way everyone is using the sentence and the terms. This is okay. why you, everyone is will get A for literature in English. I approve. Thank you, teacher. Yes.
Do you think there are a lot of moral values in this drama? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. So, okay. All right. One of the prominent moral values in this drama is actually being helpful. helpful. Very good, is one. Yes, everyone. Okay, it's actually being helpful because based on this story, even though you do not know that person, okay, even though it's a different religion, different race, if you see someone like needing a help, you should always help and approach the person okay so that's very important in terms for you to always be helpful okay yeah. and then we can also find okay what are, what are the other moral values that you can find we should not take undeserving credits mm -hmm. that's correct okay why do we cannot take uh undeserved credits ketana um, based on the story? Yeah. So based on the story, three of them, Rebe Rebecca, Patrick and David, begin to congratulate themselves on having saved the life of a famous man. Like, they mm. don't deserve that credit mm. actually. The credit yes. goes to the old woman. Yes. It's supposed to go to the blue, uh, the woman in blue. Ah, uh, yeah, the woman in blue. Okay. I think almost everyone almost there. If you can only find two, is already fine, okay? Actually, this is supposed to be a pair work. So, you can just write two. Uh, moral value is also fine, okay? Because we are almost like running. We're trying to run the time. I'm done, teacher. Oh, right. Very good, Kirtana. I can see teacher, that. I'm, I'm done, teacher. Two, teacher. Oh, right. okay. If it's two, then I'm done. Okay, just two. Just two. Yeah, just two. It's okay, because you are like most of the time. Okay, so I was, I'm seeing the answers right now. So they are actually um they are actually quite moral values in the story. Okay, let's say like Ashwari have already said that humanity. That's that is correct because the character of the human of the woman shows humanity. Okay, because she decides to help the man lying on the street without any hesitation while others were confused and refused to help. So very good Ashwarya for saying humanity. And then Kirtana said Oh yeah. Kirtana said just now that she said we should not take undeserved credit. Okay, because if someone is uh doing um uh, the the good action, but if you're not doing the good action, do not take credits. For yourself because that would be considered as selfish yeah. and then azrai said volunteerism okay that is correct we can find volunteerism because imagine if no one gave the sick man his pill and water what would have happened if no one helped out and called the ambulance this you would have died yeah yes. yes so yeah we should volunteer do you guys know the mean the Call the ambulance. Just know that one. Yeah. But not for me. But um, not for me. Hey. Oh no. <laughs> Call the ambulance. Okay, not so volunteerism. Okay, good. Okay, so Imran said we have to be leadership. Yes. Again, we can find leadership in the drama. This can be seen through the character of woman in blue. The woman triggers everyone among her for helping the unfortunate chef. And she is a good leader in a drama. Very good, Imran. Thank you, and then too. Alma said, we have to be civic-mindedness. So Rebecca, Patrick and David take an uncaring attitude to the sick man. They do not want to help Michael Scott as it was not their problem. It is the woman in blue who awakens them to take up the civic responsibility. Yes, actually the woman in blue, eh? We should be civic minded and help people in it. Very good, Amma. 
And then, oh, Izuan completed four of them. Okay, Izuan <laughs> said, uh, helpful, <laughs> civic-mindedness, volunteerism, and leadership. Yes, Izuan got all of it. Very good, Izuan. And then, Iza said, initiative. Yes, this is another word. This is very good. Initiative. So she said the play shows that initiative can transform people. This is especially true of leadership by example. The woman in blue in the catalyst that sparks a change. Yes, the woman actually is the catalyst. Uh, in the other two women who are apathetic towards the man in distress. Very good, Iza. She really thought in depth for this one. Uh, and then she also said volunteerism. Okay, so everyone Mm, got the correct answer for moral values so that is very pleasing to know so we have come to the end of the lesson today so what did we learn today i i learned a lot of moral values today yes Moral values. I learned at large values. Moral values. Teams. Teams. Another one. Another uh, the one that teacher Tashi taught you guys. The, point the of types point. of point of view. Point of view. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How many types yeah. of points of views? Um, Three. Three. Yeah. Ah. Many. Many. <laughs> many. Okay, good. All right. Okay, so we learned the themes, point of views, setting, and moral values. Moral okay? So, thank you, students. <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. We had so much of fun today. Very good. Yeah, I really teacher. love. Thank you to teacher Tashni. Say thank you to teacher Tashni. Thank you, thank you to teacher Tashni. I had a great time. Okay, thank you, Ashwarya. Okay. So stay safe and take care, okay? okay. Alright, bye. 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 bye.